Hey there guys, what's up? This is me, Shimasaki. Let's play some Elden Ring. Um, what are we doing? We want to be exploring stuff. Um, okay. So. We want to go and clear this place out over here. Hello there. Um, hey, Doug, how's it going? Good to see you. Welcome. Hope your day's going well. Um... We have a dungeon here to clear. We have a dungeon here to clear. We have a boss here to clear. We have a couple places here to go and look at. We want to go and check out this place. We have a boss here. Uh, something else to look at here. A possible boss or quest or something there. And a boss here. So, I mean, there's a number of things that we want to get done. Um, and also, we want to go and figure out how we can go and explore more down here in the, uh, in the underground on both sides. Um... I'm really not sure. I would imagine that underground in this area would be connected over to the... Um, or actually, you know what? Maybe it's not connected over to, uh, over to the academy. Because look, this place here, the upper level is over this. Maybe this upper level over here that we couldn't get to is what's actually connected to this bottom area. Then we have to figure out how we're getting over there. Maybe a warp thing or something. Um, hmm. Let's go and start things out by going over to the Shaded Castle. That seems like a good place to start, I guess. Hanging out with the Babs till work. All right, sounds good. Well, I hope today is a good day for work for you. Um, what are we doing here? Like this was, uh, it was just kind of like on a whim that we came here. We're a lot stronger now, so we can go and hand, so we can go and take these guys without too much trouble, which is good. Is this poison? This is poison. We don't want to go and be here for too long. Or at least we don't want to be walking in the in the poison here. Um, there's like a slug over there. No, there's an item back over here. Let's go and grab that. Um, so one thing I went and found from um, like reviewing VODs and stuff is like when I'm in these these areas that have like uh, toxic waters or whatever, um, rolling in them to get through faster, like you would in in prior Dark Souls. Um, is not the best here because then like the stuff sticks to you and then you end up going and getting poisoned even more um we got some stairs going up here looks like there was a body actually that looks like a dead end let's go and uh, check that out so i feel like we're really close like we're right at the end of the game smithing stone four yeah we're uh over leveled for this area if that's what they're giving me these slugs here. Hello. Resist the urge there to go and roll to, to do a combat roll to go and uh, to go and get away there. Alright, well that was kind of big damage there. Depraved perfume. Oh, it's a perfumer. Okay. I guess that's how come they weren't attacking with any like, weapons. Make sure I watch my back too. Um. Ooh, hi. Okay. I mean, this looks like it's a large place, but it might not be. B. 
Big damage. The Prey Perfumer Headscarf and Smithing Stone 5. I think we're on Smithing Stone 6 right now. Um, look, we got Basilisk over there. We could jump down right here. That leads outside. Oh, there's a ladder going up over there. Just some Miranda powder. Um, okay, so we killed this guy over here. We can go up over there. Or we can go up the ladder. Um, let's go this way. There's some slugs around an item. Some beast blood. Another item back here. Is that safe to get to? I don't know. It doesn't look like there's anything that would fall, so. Um, okay. I don't know if that's worth it. Another one of those crab guys. I don't like them. Any undead about to jump out? No. Neutralizing bolluses. And that's going to go and cure things like poison buildup. Hey. Now we have one of those trees here, or big plants. I don't think I care about the item back there. Maybe I do. Sure, let's get it. Let's wait. Oh, it's Crimson Rot. Oh, that's even worse. Or Scarlet Rot. Okay. Um, well. Let's go and deal with that. Uh, oh no, I don't have anything to deal with that. Alright, we're just going to use the Physic. Uh, okay, so that place over there looks like a dead end. Um, over here there's an item protected by that thing. I don't really care about that. Maybe I do. Somber Stone 5. Nope, I didn't care about it. At least not for my build. Let's just hope that I can go and find a, um, uh, a grace before we go and die of, uh, Scarlet Rot. Okay, so we went and, oh, there's an item over there. We didn't go on that side, I guess. Yeah, don't worry, I saw you. Here, give me some health. That way I can heal through the poison.
Okay, so the drop down there leads uh, a little bit further in. Okay, that didn't look, uh, that didn't look, that did not look good there. Oh, we got a doggo over there. Oh, that's not a doggo, never mind. Hey, what up, Malaria? Good to see ya. Welcome. Alright. These guys are nice. They go and just heal me through, uh, through this, this poison here. Or this crimson rot. Ah, shit. And there's another one on the other side there. Get out of my way. There we go. Come over here. Go just recover some health. Doing some taxes, that sounds fun. Glass shard. Well, I hope your taxes go and work out pretty good. Yeah, Doug's here as well. There we go. Back up to full health. We didn't really we didn't need to go in. Oh hi, who are you? Clean rot, uh, gauntlets and greaves. What's clean rot? Gauntlets of the clean rot knight, celebrated for their undefeated champion or uh, campaign in the Shattering. The clean rot knights vowed to fight alongside Melania, despite the inevitable if gradual putrefaction of their flesh. Their acceptance of their fate made these battles the fiercest of all. Valkyrie prosthesis. That's a key item. Golden prosthesis prosthesis used by the one armed Valkyrie. Once used by the one armed Valkyrie, a masterwork of craftsmanship with practice and skill, it can be used as proficiently as a real arm. When Malay Marai, Lord of the Shaded Castle, embraced this prosthesis, he claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see if I can wake one of them up. Get some help. Oh, this one has a lot of health. Oh, it's too high up. Don't give up, skeleton. <laughs> um, okay, so... Where do we go? There is a, uh, an undead guy with a horse down over there. Um, and we can go and proceed towards the main castle over there. There's a ladder over there, which presumably will go and get us towards this item. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Jump.
We can go and travel rooftops here to go and take us around. So we can go and avoid all the poison. Ooh, check it out. Grace. I'd love to see it. Okay. Now, I would like to get over... Uh, this just descend. Um, yeah, I'd like to get over there to that ladder. Ah, shit. Nope. Just going to run around the side. Oh, there's an opening here. Oh, an item in there. Oh, this is very swamp-like. So we're not able to go and move too well in there. Perfume bottles, okay. We already had those. Smithing stone five. Okay, so if we needed smithing stone fives, which actually we might need them, um, we're finding them in this area. So then, while we can't really go and walk or run in the, uh, in the poison swamp here, we can go and, like, most likely we can go and, um, use the quick step to get through. Rot grease. It's like this is a dead end here. Alright, well these guys don't teleport like those other knights did, so we're not too uh not too concerned. May as well sit down here. I think that we finished everything outside. There's a couple items I did go and miss, but I don't think it's really all that important. Killing all those, we're only at 25,000. So they're not really worth a lot. Uh, they're not worth, like, a, a huge amount of runes. Hello, who are you? House Maraya is ruined. Just deserts for falling for that severed harpy. No surprise that guilty cretin took the castle in our story sword. Who? Oh, fuck you. Hi. Ah. I wanted to back Seb. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a ladder up. And we have this way that goes outside. Let's go up. <clears throat> Hi, who are you? Perfumer's cookbook. I see there's an item over there. Probably uh, some more comet shards, judging from its location there. Um, can I just shoot this guy? We do have some arrows. It doesn't have much health at all. That's a really cool attack. I would say it's over because we've got the high ground, but we also ran out of arrows. Um, maybe we'll go, let's see. We were down there already. So, I'm guessing up here is where we need to be. Um, so we're gonna kill this guy, cross over there, it doesn't look like there's anything, any way to go up this, uh, this tower here. So into there, there is an upper landing over here, um, go through here and then we can go and cross up here, go up and, and over. if I can proc poison here. Ow! Okay. He hit me like once and look how much bleed was built up there. Jeez. We were gonna take a ton of damage. May as well heal. Ah! Give my health back. Page hood. We got some gold butterflies or something. 
Another one of these guys. Doggos, no! Smithing stone five. <clears throat> Ooh, a ladder. A kick ladder. Okay, so we have our um, grace over there, and then we can go and just cross over here for the ladder. Does that mean boss? Yep, there we go. We have a Marco statue, we have a fog gate over here. A lot of statues here. I wonder what the deal is. Elmer of the Briar. Wait, what? How'd you grab me? That was a cool little spinny sword. So he has got it. He's got like a command grab thing. Yeah, get there. Mariah Executioner Sword, and the Briar Great Sword, a Great Shield. The storied sword of House Mariah, the family of executioners who presided over the Shaded Castle, is one of the legendary armaments. Elmer of the Briar, the bell-bearing hunter snatched the sword from the site of his looming execution and furnished it with battle skills from his home of um, Aokide. Aokai Unique skill is Aokade's Dancing Blade. Infuse the sword with energy, then fling it forwards in a corkscrew attack. The sword continuously deals damage while violently spinning. And I forgot what the other thing we got was. Wait, where's my... Okay. But if I forgot, then it's probably nothing important. Look at that. Going through there, we didn't even get enough... Uh, enough to go and level up here. Wait, is that it? There's nothing beyond here? Just small optional castle? Alright, well, I guess we're done with the Shaded Castle, then. Less to go and be scared about here than I thought there would be. 
Um, I guess let's go to Volcano Manor. Hold on, hold on. Did we go and get? I think we got a letter from them already. No. Do I not have my next target? Oh, we do. Rayleigh the Idol can be found in uh, Altus Plateau. Right here. That's uh, that's pretty close to here, actually. Summon sign is down there. It looks like that's too far. Whew. All right, great. We can fall here safely. Rayleigh the Idol. Lead build. Ooh. No, it's Scarlet Rot. Okay. All right, we did it. Okay, so we can go back for our next target. Um. Crapus is vile. And black key bolt. Crapus is vile is one of these, it says. Um, eliminates all sound made by the wearer during movement. Oh, I like that. A small mysterious bottle with a dark mist sealed within. Eliminates all sound made by the wearer. A ritual implement used by round table hold assassins. There was a time when Tarnish, who had strayed from Guidance, feared nothing more than utter silence. Roundtable had assassins? Um, let's go to Gelmer Heroes. Don't quite have enough to go and level up yet. Almost. Oh, this doesn't look good. Especially if we get one of those uh, things that go and just like drive down the, the passageways again.
Yep. Called it. Oh shit. Why didn't it go all the way down? Okay, there is a drop down right there as well. Woo! Things just chasing me. I need some health. Give me some health. Wow, that was a, that was a big lunge. Ghost Glove Ward 7. Um, oh, we need... We're at, like, 10, I think. Okay. Let's not go that way right now. They're not strong enough to go and stagger me, so we're over-leveled for this area as well. I guess that also makes sense, because uh, we can we can access this place um, before we go through the capital. I'm not too sure if there's anything up. There might not be. <clears throat> okay. Ladder, okay. Ladders are good.
Oh, this way's just a dead end. Fucking shade. Mantis blade. A curved sword with a blade at both ends wielded by the cemetery shades, the insect-ridden grave keepers. The blade is thin and sharp, and strong attack unleashes a far-reaching slash. Now what are we to do here? Oh, maybe we're supposed to go up. Okay, and then we're... This thing goes and follows us all the way down here. Shit, we just came up here for a stone sword key. Ah, get in there! Jeez, we lived through that. Oh, shit. Okay. Got him. Bloodhound set. Okay, so we got two item sets here. We got the Bloodhound set. <clears throat> worn by the Bloodhound Knights. The Bloodhound Knights are trained as hunters and known to be unshakable trackers. Without the use of language, each knight chooses his own master. Once the decision has been made, the knight stays loyal for life. And we got the Gelmere Knight set. Helm worn by knights once loyal to Praetor Rikard. Its crest of red feathers symbolizes Rikard's pedigree as Lord Radigan's son. Um, it bears an emblem that none wear any longer, standing as it does for a lord that fell from lofty ambition to gluttonous depravity. As the lord lost his dignity, so too did these knights lose their master.
Okay, I should go and heal. We should be at full health. Uh, just because this, um... Chariot can go and... Maybe kill us. Chariot can do a lot of damage. I don't know where I'm supposed to go from there. Whether it's through the lava or what? Because there are little things off to the side where we can go and hide. But then we're having to go and just run through the lava all the way down. I don't know if that's correct. I see these things off to the side on, like, in a couple spots down there. But, um... I don't feel like that's the correct way to be going. Can I just kill this thing? Ow, fuck you. Jesus. I mean, we can survive in the in the the lava. We don't have much health, though, or we don't have much healing. Oh shit! We're fucked. We go so slow in the lava. Um... We go so slow in there that it makes it kind of not an option. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Um, I think I'm going to go up. Maybe there's something I missed. I hear what sounds like another one.
I see a platform over there. Oh, there is no way. Oh, so we can quick step. That might be our way to get down, but uh, we've got so little heals right now that I'm just going to go back up for the time being. Just gonna run away for now. Okay. All right. So heals restored. Uh, we can level up. Um, I guess. I guess some points in endurance won't be bad. Uh, a little bit more equip load. So we're going to jump over to that other si uh, one on the side. Free heal.
Okay, this could totally be wrong here. We're gonna go down. Um... Greatly boost fire damage negation. Um... We don't have much room, so I don't need the sacrificial twig. Where's our one boost non-physical? Here we are. Okay. Oh, this is absolutely terrible. The ringed finger. Oh, was that a key item? No. How did I just pick up? Here's all these fingers, but that's not the ringed finger. An ingredient? No. I remember what it looked like. Where is it? I could have sworn it was a charm, a talisman. And that's none of those.
the hell? Where is this thing? I have to go and see what this item is. Like, um... What type of item it was. Alright, give me a sec here. Where is... Here we are. I'm gonna go and take a check at uh, the VOD here of this real quick. Uh, to see what... It, type of item this thing is um how do I god I hate doing this there we go Alright, so here's where I went down. <clears throat> the one hour mark, we're gearing up to go down the lava. Alright, so we're going down at 101.30. Okay, so here we are, 102. All right, what type of item is this thing? It's a weapon. Okay. Oh, it's right here. It's a hammer. A bludgeon made of an enormous finger sheath and several heavy rings. Thought to have been cut from an ancestor of the Finger Creeper. Some life yet remains in this legacy of an ancient act of blasphemy as evidenced by the barely perceptible warmth it still excuses. Cloth flick is a skill. Cause the finger to swell and then flex to build up strength before giving enemies an almighty flick. Why is it always fingers? Oh, hello. Let's re equip. Oh, uh -huh. you see, if we had come down all the way down here, <clears throat> oh, we would have gotten to a ladder. So we still would have been able to go and make our way up. Okay. 
So it wouldn't have just been a dead end all the way at the bottom. And there's our fog wall. And our statue of Marika as well. Nice. Any skellies? Anything here to go and give me some extra health? No? Oh, it's a, it's a red wolf. Okay, cool. Nice. Well, Fire Monk should be able to go and help out here. Ha, <laughs> the sword went and just broke through immediately. Yeah, we did it. <clears throat> Bloodhound Night Flow. Okay. Um, Bloodhound Night Flow is here. <clears throat> Summon spirit of Bloodhound Night Flow. Spirit of a Bloodhound Knight they called the Rabid Stray will attack without pause immediately after being summoned. Low vowed that there was only one lord that he would serve, a true king, and so the rabbit tray never found a master. Ah, uh, death root. There's no one to give death root to anymore. We went in, um, we killed the the guy. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Probably not, but, um, there we go, so now we can remove that. Let's head back over to Volcano Manor so we can get our next orders. Hello. I see you perform here is your usual. Your usual reward, Serpent Bone Blade. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor. Lord Rikard. Oh. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the Shardbearers vying for power in the wake of the Shattering. Our Lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. Oh. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day. If you follow, it cannot... So if we go and continue down this way, we get to go and find and probably fight uh, Lord Rikard. Red letter. And then we got a uh, sword. Um, here it is. The Serpent Bone Blade. A katana. A sinister katana modeled after a serpent bone. The densely packed row of spines that jut away from the cutting edge are coated in a lethal poison. So it causes poison buildup instead of the other one causing blood buildup. Uh, what's this red letter? Our next request. Juno Hoslo, Knight of Blood. Found in the mountaintop of giants. So this one should be a higher level enemy. Because this is past the... Um, past the thing here. Over at the Shack of the Lofty. 
All right, let's go. Let's go here. Let's go and um, clear this this Erd tree. There were multiple enemies patrolling around the area that we'll have to go and deal with. There we go. Killing all sounds should mask our approach. And there he is. The enemy, the boss of this, uh, of the tree there. His name's like Wormface or something like that. Oh, and he's just going and throwing death around here? Oh, that's great. The insta-kill is like the only thing I really need to go and worry about here. Come on, fire monk. Fire Monk did it. Nice. Good job. Crimson Spill, Crystal Tear, and Speckling Hard Tear. Crimson Spill, Speckled Hard Tear. Um... Speckled Hard Tear, Boost Resistance, and Heal Status. Temporarily raises all resistances and heals all status ailments. Huh. I don't know what the other one was. There was a speckled hard tier and something.
golden slam. That looked like a um a smo kind of move. I don't need those guys. Okay, so we cleared out the Erd tree here. Cleared out that dungeon. Cleared out over here. So all that's left is up over on this side. So let's go back down over here and let's go and take care of uh, these enemies down here. Um, boost non physical damage negation. Boost physical damage negation. Boost HP. And boost magic damage negation. Um... We might not need the buckler for this. It still leaves that heavy load. Alright, we're going with this. Um, for now, let's go and put that on so we get a free heal. Since we're not going to be at full health at, uh, as is.
All right, there we go. Um, and we need non-physical damage negation. Because one of these guys here, at least one of them, will be a mage. This guy has got a, um, a katana and a small shield. Parried that. Rude. Last hit. It's like we were baited. Like that that entire exchange there was just a big bait. Um, okay, so we can go and lose this one um, in exchange for that. No stagger out of that. We did go, we did go and hit him with a bunch of um, uh, status effects though with frost. Why no jump, horse? Giants are easy enough.
Sure, we'll go and fight this guy. All right, there we go. God damn it! <clears throat> Our recovery time is so long! Just swings in, goes and hits us with the bleed, and is able to follow up immediately. Before we can go and even recover from the first hit. I know that's under immunities. So I guess like the the only the the real issue I have with this that makes this difficult is that they have so much health. I mean, it's supposed to go and be like a PVP style fight, right? But compared to a normal PvP uh, PvP uh, fight, like they've got thousands of HP. I can't chain stagger. Like, I can go and get maybe two hits in. Is my poise just so much worse? Is that why? Here's a guy with a big hammer. Sword and shield. That is a long katana. We'll start here. Look how much life she's got. My 
All right, there's one. <clears throat> this guy here has a... <clears throat> what looks like a straight sword and also the... Um, also a shield, a parry shield. Oh, wait, no. You have two swords. Did it change who my opponent was? down. <clears throat> Last one here has the big hammer. I don't think we'll be able to parry that. So, let's go and change gear up here. Um, no, I think we're okay, actually. We might just have to go and play this one slow. Just go at range here. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that before. We did it! Great Jar's Arsenal. Vastly raises a maximum equip load. Oh. A charm that resembles a great jar overflowing with weaponry. Vastly boosts maximum equip load. A great jar grant grants a talisman to their warriors. Carry as much as you can. Grow big. Grow strong. Well, that's actually really good because that's uh, something that we were we are wanting more equip. Um... Equip load, a crimson amber medallion. Let's go put those out over at this end here. Okay. Um, spell Drake plus one. No, I don't want that. I want um, Pearl Drake and Dragon Crest plus one.
All right, there we go. Finally. Okay, so that clears this place. Clears this place. So all we have left up here is the mountain top of the giants. Whatever is left out over here. We've got a dragon over here. We have a crow over here. We have a summon guy over here. We have a tree. A couple things out here we haven't explored. And also a jellyfish. Um, let's start with the dragon. I appear to be missing a doggo. That means that he went inside and he is probably sleeping on the bed. Um, that's okay because he is a good boy. I wonder if we can just wait out the, uh, wait out the snow here. Ah, there we are. Borealis, the freezing fog. That knockdown kind of sucked. <laughs> I was in range of that. Garbage.
I'm not gonna be able to get there. Oh, I can. Okay, good. Got him. First try. 100k. <clears throat> okay, good. I guess we'll s go here. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Okay. Wait, what was that? A grace, huh? Oh, we've been here. Okay. Oh, this is where we went when we first came into the, uh, the valley here. Or the mountaintop. Okay, so it's out this way. Shop. Juno Haslo. Knight of Blood. Haslo's Oath. This is a whip. We're not able to parry this. I'm gonna use that back step or that, uh, that quick step with it. Yep. Whip's got good range.
Got him. Rune arc and the finger remedy. Nice. Are we going to get his whips? Hoslo's petal whip and Hoslo's set. A metal whip formed of razor-sharp chain-link blades that have the appearance of flower petals. This work of art is handed down through the generations of the illustrious house Hoslo. High dexterity is required to wield this weapon, but it excels at inflicting devastating blood loss. A tale of house Hoslo is told in blood. His special skill is kick. I would have expected it to be uh, um, a quick step. Hoslo's helm, a twin-tailed silver helm decorated with flowery adornments, symbol of the head of the revered house of Hoslo. Do you know Hoslo had a younger brother who was all talk and no trousers? His inability to commit to action was such that Juno inherited the Hoslo legacy without resistance, granting him the freedom to shower his little brother with adoration. When Juno Hoslo received an invitation to the Volcano Manor, he discreetly refused. I have already walked many a road drenched in blood, yet never would I consider myself a champion. Well, did we have to kill him because we went and um, turned down the... Or because he turned down the invitation? So if we were offered the invitation and we turned it down, would people be after us? Okay, level up. Couple in endurance. Elfin Steeple. don't know what I just picked up. I think it was a weapon. Oh, here it is. It's a greatsword. 
A great sort of pattern after the bla black steeple of the Helfen, the lampwood which guides the dead to the dead of the spirit world. The lamplight is similar to grace in appearance, only it is said that it can be seen by those who met their death in battle. All right, well, we got the death route that was here. Beast clergyman seeks and devours these. The beast clergyman found a bestial sanctum in the distant east, collects and devours these roots. On the night of the dire plot, the stolen rune of death uh, enabled the first death of a demigod. Later, the rune of death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the great trees, sprouting in the form of death roots. My death rate bird. blocking This bird, I swear, we've gotten and died so many times this thing. Give me those. There you go. Ooh. Good job, Fire Monk. Way to come in clutch there to go and stop that. Phase two, yep, there we go. 
And this fire lasts for a long time, so I can't really go and dash in. Oh, God. There we go. Come down here. to go. God, it's about time. Jesus. The death ritual spear. A ritual spear used by priests of old who were permitted to come among the death birds. The priests became guardians of the birds through the rite of death which also serves as an oath sworn to a distant resurrection. Okay, so let's go and head over here to Stargazer Ruins. I guess, actually, no, hold on. We're going to go here just so we can go and get more um, heals. We'll get endurance up to 30 as well. Scaled armor, scaled gauntlets. Can't quite go up to the scaled greaves. Oh, Crucible is actually better. Yeah, Crucible weighs less than scaled. Alright, Stargazer Ruins. Where did you go? 
maybe sister is down here. Oh, it's shut by a seal. I can't talk to jellyfish. Summoning. Summoning required... Oh! Oh, because we can summon in this area. Hold on. Oh! Ha! A floating spirit that illuminates surroundings, prone to tears, the jellyfish girl searches for her distant home. Uh, it seems her name is Aurelia. Fancy spin gesture. Primal Glintstone Blade. Spells consume less FP, but maximum HP is reduced. An old glintstone blade that's been stained with blood reduces FP consumption of sorceries and incantations at the cost of max HP. The old sorcerers would slice open their hearts with these blades to imbue a primal glintstone with their soul, and thus did they die. Did they die? Okay, so we have here. Fucking Ordina. So we have the tree. Uh, then we have across the river on this side. Following that, then we have the Hayleg tree. Oh, is the tree all the way up top up there? Wait, no, no. Tree's down here, because up top is where we were just at. That's up on this ridge. So tree's down here. trees up there.
There's no boss here. I mean, the tree's burnt down, so... Um... It says I can go inside. Oh, look over there. Easy fight. <clears throat> Thorny cracked tear and a ruptured cracked tear. <clears throat> Makes consecutive attacks grow stronger. And another ruptured causes uh, the concoction to explode. Alright, so I marked three locations. And then we'll go and run around to go and see these. Oh, it's a mausoleum. Oh, we already saw this one. Ooh, look. Anything here? Or did I pick it up? I already picked it up. No, I didn't. Nice. Golden, uh, golden seed. What is that? I don't like that.
Why not roll? I don't think a roll would help me here. All right, there we did it. Apostate Derelict. We can't attack here. Oh, interesting. I don't know what I just picked up. Thank you. I finally fulfilled my purpose. Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Our young yet towering sister will give us hope. Now that nothing is left unfinished, I will join you in battle to the bitter end. Okay. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo. My dear wolf. For the sake of Lobo, we shall go and do so. I wasn't paying attention to what we got. Um, was it a sacred tier? It wasn't a sacred tier. Um, all right. Time to go and check out what happened on VOD here. Um, do, 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 Come on. Come on, Twitch app. Uh, that's where we're fighting the mausoleum. It's 219. Here we go. We got a... We summoned her out, and then we got a... Silver mirror shield, okay. Silver mirror shield was a thing here. Wasn't it? It's not. Maybe, oh, maybe it's just a regular, yeah, it's a regular shield. A medium shield. 
Shield of radiant silver, festooned with amber and carried by Loretta, Knight of the Halic Tree. The shape is said to Im imitate that of a sacred drop of dew, which inspired the absurd rumor that Loretta herself was an Albanaric. So Loretta is not an Albanaric? All right, so we have a couple other places marked. Let's see what else we have. What is this? Oh, hello. Interesting. Is there anything we can go and bring out here to go and break that? Bear. Perfect. There we go. Whoa! Range attack. Smithing stone seven and eight. That's actually worth it for us. Invader? From where? But why? The Sanguine Noble?
Imagine we die because of this bug that's flying around. Alright, we got him. Sanguine Noble Set. Hood, robe, and waist cloth. of dyed black cloth featuring gold embroidery worn by the nobles who serve the Lord of Blood. Known to strike from pools of blood, these assassins are missionaries come to share the gospel of accursed blood. The grand metallic pattern on the shoulders is a signifier of the noble rank they intend to claim upon the advent of the new dynasty they are working to install. Is that why all these, uh, there's just like all these blood red flowers around? If there was a teleport, like, right in the heart of this here, I would not be surprised. Or, like, hiding behind a tree or something like that. But saying that there are ruins right here, uh, that might actually be where we're supposed to be going here, I guess, with that. <clears throat> Let's see what's out over here. I have uh, yellow. We got uh, some heels out of that. Okay, so first things first. Yellow Annex Ruins. And they'd be spitting out madness, too.
Uh, let me have my stuff back, please. Give me my runes, please. A lot of giant guys around here. Hey, what's up, Sassy? How goes it, Nessie? Good to see ya. Bop, bop, bop. Welcome, uh, welcome here to the stream. Jesus. God damn it, these guys. Can you stop? Okay. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, it's doing okay here for me. Not bad. Um, I think we're almost... I think we're almost done with this game. At least for first playthrough. Oh, a stone sword key. That's good. Other than that, uh, it's been okay. You need to try this game? Uh, have you wanted to play Dark Souls? If you have, then it's very good. If you haven't played Dark Souls as well, then it's still very good. Um, just might go and take a little bit to go and get used to. Um, ba -ba bum I just think that there's something here that I'm just not seeing. <laughs> We're just gonna jump in. Alright, that's fine. This game has no connection to the Dark Souls games. Uh... Or the Dark Souls universe, so you can go and just go just run right or jump straight into this one here without needing uh, to know anything else. Alright, I don't... I guess there's nothing else here? That's weird. What's this green thing over here? Oh, a camp. Why is there a camp here? Oh shit, a dungeon? Oh! Yellow Annex Tunnel? A ton- why a tunnel? Where's this go to? It is a pretty difficult game. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I highly recommend it. Let's see, what do we have? We have a 28,000. It costs 78,000 to level up now, okay. Um, gotta be quiet. What do we have? Hope flower, time for sleep. Ooh, big hole right there. Drops down. Here's some stuff. Does not open from this side. Of course it doesn't open from this side. Why would it open from this side? They hit pretty hard. This guy's mining at the ends of the world. I 
I can't one-shot them with the with my dagger, so. That's a bit of a, a little bit of a concern there. Smithing stone grade six. That's what we need right now, right? We need six for this. And sevens, yeah, they're pretty strong. Okay, we're no pushovers either, though. Oh, we can go and stagger them at least. That's good. Am I into Harry Potter? Um. I never read all the books. I read like the first four books. Uh, and I don't think I watched all the movies either. I think I only watched like the first three movies. There's a new game for it. What type of games are they? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I went and I think I went and, um,. I think I went and saw something about that. Someone in one of my Discord groups was going and talking about that. That they were saying like the Harry Potter game that they've been that everyone's been waiting for is finally coming out. Like one where you can actually go like fully exploring and, and all sorts of stuff. Nice, nice. That's good to hear. Yeah, I, I read a little bit about it, but I didn't go and, like, I've never been, I've never gone and played the games before, or been into, like, I guess I, once, I don't want to say I, I've not been into it, but, like, I've just never gone and played them before. Ow. So, um, I'm not too sure what, uh, what I would go and expect from it. Um, let's go and swap this thing out. Explosive stone clump. Somber stone eight. Is that my first smithing stone that we've seen here? What kind of mine is this? Yeah, well, hopefully it goes and works out so good. Um, a lot of a lot of games recently haven't been living up to the hype that they've uh, that people have been giving them. Although this game has gone and definitely hit the hype. Okay, he fell. Yeah, Dying Light 2. I was kind of looking forward to that. I wouldn't have spent a lot of time playing Dying Light, the first one. Um, although the second part of the game kind of just, like, didn't really... Or I guess the, the last part of the game didn't really go and feel that great. Ah, loser. Like in compare, ow! In comparison to like the first part of the game, I didn't like the ending. Yeah, me neither. So I mean, like, I didn't really care too much for how it is for like the finish of it. Um, but like with Dying Light Two, when that was announced, and then they said like it have like even more parkour and more secrets and all this stuff. Like it was kind of a, uh, it was kind of exciting. Um, uh, but. That didn't go and pan out so well. I never actually played it though, Dying Light 2. The hell is that? Ah! Oh, hello there. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh, fuck you. Jesus Christ. Fucking Onyx Lords. I 
At least I'm familiar with his attacks. Oh, no follow-up? Five of them? Thought it was only supposed to be four. That's okay. There you go. <clears throat> you want to play the first one? The first one I thought was really good. Like, uh, like I said, like, until it got to the second part of the game. Or, no. I guess the second part, yeah. Um, the third part of the game kind of really sucked. <laughs> like, they started out really solid, and then it just kind of just stopped being good, uh, in my opinion. Like, I really like the whole crafting thing with it. Being able to go and customize and build your weapons. Um, I guess there wasn't too much customization, though. Um... And then just learning the overall area and then um, the parkour aspect of just running around and all that. Okay, so I guess we're at the boss. We didn't get much uh, loot out of here. We got some smithing stones. I guess that's okay. Well, before we fight the boss, we're going to go over here. And we're going to go back and we're going to go and sit down at our... Uh, and our grace, so we can go and restore all of our heals. And we should really should go back to base, so we can go and level up our gear. Since I did go and get a number of stones. But maybe we can get something good out of here. Let's see what happens. Asto. The Stars of Darkness. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Ow, Jesus. I've never seen an enemy like this. Like, what are all these little bubble things all over it? It's a big enemy, so it's hard to go and uh, see what's happening with everything. <laughs> it reminds me of like the um uh like bust a move. Let's go and shoot another bubble into him to go and uh to go and get like the match three. God it's so big we can't go and hit it. Oh my god, what the hell?
Uh, let me swap this out for that, I guess. I don't think we're going to kill it. So I'd rather not go and lose any, uh, lose anything to it. I feel like this is, uh, this is made for a magic fight. Or a spellcaster. Because it's hard to hit as a melee. And I can't go and see what's happening. That's really cool. I like how I like that there. Yep. Okay, well, I'm going to go and mark this uh, so I know where this is at. Um, I'm not going to try to go and fight him. I don't think that we can go and win. Not with the gear that I have right now. Alright, so we know that there is a boss there. It seems like it's made more for a magic build, where I can go and just shoot spells at it from a distance, rather than being under it trying to go and swing when it's trying to fly through the air. Then it goes and does an attack that hits behind me and I can't see it. And it just caused like an explosion. So it feels like it's made more for a for a spellcaster. Um I'm not a spellcaster in this build or, or in my build here. So that's a little bit disappointing. We're not gonna be able to go and really do much here. How are these guys? Forest folks. Oh, a caravan. What have we got over here? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I don't have, um, we could go and, uh, I could go and change my build around to go and be a spellcaster. But I don't have a lot of spells. I feel like I went and was pretty thorough about things in the game, but, um, I'm still... I don't have much spells, so, like, I miss things. Um... Yeah, I miss things in the game, and... I don't know if I'm gonna have the opportunity to go and, uh, get them anymore. So first of all, we'll kill these guys. Then we need to stop the caravan. We don't have any ranged things, so we'll just go and just... just chop. Oh, 
Oh, I already looted this thing. Okay. Oh, I must have I must have looted it when it was uh when it was over on this side. I wonder how they got across. Okay. Oh no, it was near it was over here. Yeah, okay, so I went and got them as they were right around here. So there's an there's a thing right over here to go and check out. That was scary. wonder why there's lights there. Oh, golden seed. Thank you. How did I not see that was right there? Hmm. Oh, I know what it is. Like, um, uh, uh, what's her face told us to go and follow the lights to go and make it over to her town. Oh, man. Almost just ran off that cliff. Oh, there's something out over this way. Hi. This guy's got a treasure chest. Show me the path, oh gentle lights. Yep. Well, we're gonna put a marker over there. Apparently there's a dungeon in this direction. Aha! Okay, so let's go and put a marker here and then we can come back. Consecrated Snowfield Catacombs. Alright, so there's a dungeon here. Um... There is a boss here in the volcano. Oh, over here. That I need to kill. Okay, so one more place uh, for us to go and check out over here. Uh, there's like a little tower over on that side. Uh, since we're here, actually, why don't we go and... Um, no. Why don't we leave? Let's go and check out this other spot that I have marked. And then we'll go back home to go and upgrade gear.
Oh, we can go and summon here? Why can we summon here? Albinaric Rise. What is our clue for this area? Our clue is these guys, the gargoyles, fighting each other. So we might have to go and just kill all the gargoyles around. Oh, they just respawn. Okay. Come over here. Alright, so what do we do? Try summoning, try betrayal, seek item crafting. I don't know what I'm supposed to go and summon here. I don't know what we're supposed to do. You must solve the puzzle to enter. That's the only clue that I have. Is that image of them going and fighting each other. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can't we just go and, like... Can we just go and cheese this one? I don't even know if they're, like... Let's see, can we go up? Yeah, we can go up. Okay, so we want to go up on this ridge. Hey, a pup. What's up? Um. There we go. 
<laughs> God damn it. It won't let me go and cheese the puzzle here. We have to solve it. Uh, so I'm just going to put a thing here so I remember about that. Um, I think that's about it for this area. We have a catacombs here to explore. We have a puzzle here. We have a boss here. We have a boss here. No great glo grave glove warts. Um, and we don't have ghost eight. Twenty-three, so we need five more eights to go and hit twenty-five. Because we already have the one to hit twenty-five. We just need the twenty-four. Um I think I'm fine with the Misericord at fifteen. I would like to go and level up the Uchi some more. That's gonna be Smithing Stone six and sevens. I think I like having cold on there. Um, I don't know about lightning. Do we have fire? Can I put fire on here? I think I'm fine with it as is. Can't do anything with two fingers. We can't buy anything here that we want. I asked to be thankful it is all. Okay, there's really nothing for me to be doing here now. Um, let's go over here. So we can go and fight this boss. Alright, so I think we need to be on the katana. We need uh, something faster.
My damage output's not bad. Oh, that was cool. That was a new attack. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We're good. We're good. About to push me off the off the um the volcano here. Don't throw me off. Oh, that would be the worst. Yeah, we did it. Somber Stone 6, 5 level 6, and a Falling Star, Falling Star Beast Jaw. It's a weapon. That is a colossal weapon. Part of a Falling Star Beast Jaw. Hard and shining black fashioned into a weapon. With its sharp point, the colossal weapon can skew our foes. Gravity Bolt. Imbue the jaw of Falling Star, Falling Star Beast with gravitational lightning, sending a bolt crashing down a short distance away. It can be fired in rapid succession. Alright, then over here. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, let's see. Inventory. We need level six stones. We have seven. Um, our katana is what? 16. I need an 18, so that means I need 10. So we need three more. Um, we're getting too much junk here again. Actually, you know, hold on. Uh, I want that back. The silver mirror shield is better than the beast crest. Um, I guess it for magic anyways, not for the other. So we'll, I, I guess we'll hold on to both. I think that's pretty good. I see that you this is your usual. Taker's cameo, that's my usual reward. Perhaps you are ready. Our Lord will no doubt welcome you. Yes. Now I will transport you. Farewell then. May your visit be fruitful. Audience pathway, okay. Oh, we have a uh, grace there, so. Um, let's see this item that I just got. And then we'll go and talk with these other guys. Raises HP upon... Restores HP upon defeating enemy... Oh, it's finally we get one of these. A talisman engraved with a stern likeness of Praetor Rikard, Master of Volcano Manor. When Rikard turned to heresy, taken by force became the rule. The gods themselves were no different, after all. Won't you consider having an... Our lord will no doubt welcome you. I see. But do not to follow the path of valor in order to defy this debasement like a true. Okay. Ah, oh, this girl's gone. Look at you. I knew you take this. Letter to Bernal. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who suffer. If you should accept, you still. A Two tarnished to be hunted. Vargrim the Raging Wolf and Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm. 
Both can be fan found in the royal capital of Leyendale. We need to explore a lot more here as well. Okay, let's go and do this. <laughs> oh, at the Coliseum. Like, I just really rushed through the capital. Oh, and we didn't go in here either. Alberic's set. Albrecht's pointed hat, robe, and whatnot. Um, Mad Tongue Alberic. Set with red... A, a sign of a heretical practitioner. Set with red glintstone, said to be formed by the blood of sacrifices. Strengthened thorn sorcery. Alberic was an aloof yet disturbed heretical sorcerer said to have been driven mad by jeering tongues during his service at Round Table Hold. Wait a minute, is this the round table? Oh shit, this is the round table. I thought it was a boss room, but like looking at it from here, this is like what the round table is supposed to be. Hello. Lightless bird painting. Fortified manor. Or is this just a, just a reused location? Okay, so that door that we can't open is this one here. Uh huh. Look, we can't go up. Two Fingers Prayer Book. Okay, so then in order to go up, we're going to have to come in from the top lay uh, in the top level to go and get that stuff. You don't have the right hidden path ahead. Oh, you can open it. We can't open this over in the round table. Stormhawk Axe, we already have one of these.
Oh, okay. Now we have the um, that connects to the divine bridge. Ah, I see. I think it's of some importance that the dragon's claw is grabbing right there. He's trying to attack me. Hello there. Wait, what? Where did that shot come from? Way the fuck down there? Hey there, Trotsky. How's it going? Welcome here. All right. Well, um. Oh, since we're here, then that means that we have this uh this portal open over here. Well, I don't know if this portal is open. Let's see if it is. It is. Where does this go? Where's this going to take me? Oh, this is the okay. This is what I was looking at. The isolated divine tower. Okay. Okay, so we know how to go and access this now. Hey, what's up, KTR? Lurk away. <laughs> Showing up at a good time, huh? <laughs> uh, we can't do anything with that, though. Um... Okay, so... <laughs> I guess we have to go up in order to go and get to the top floor up here. Um, why don't we go and do this first? Aha! We got a buddy here. Come on, Vargrim, you and me. and tank through all of that. Uh, he did fuck all here against Wilhelm. Oh, he made he made Wilhelm have to heal, so that was good. So what do we get for this? I 
Raging Wolf Helm, a Raging Wolf set. <clears throat> the helm worn by Vargrim the Raging Wolf, one of the first tarnished to visit the Round Table Hold. Vargrim's nickname comes the White Wolf's comes from the White Wolf's mane that decorates this helm. According to the old legends, wolves are the shadows of the Empyrean, and this is what Vargrim aspired to be. So I guess we'll get this. Oh, here we are. Here's how we get in there. There's just an upstairs right here. Oh, okay. That's how come we can't open that door over at the hold. Because they're... It would just go and take us to the outside. So we know that there's nothing in this room past... Uh... Okay. Sanctified wet blade and a hammer. Smithing stone six. That's good. We need smithing stone six. Girl's not there. By my sword. Another hero's rune. Very nice. That's really cool that there's a and that this is where this stuff is. Or like here is another one, perhaps. A coded sword. Hidden sword once granted to a tarnished of the round table by the two fingers. A formless cipher comprises its blade, which deals holy damage no shield can repel. Champions will gather at the round table hold in days long past when the two fingers were masters of oration, their flesh yet full of vigor. Unblockable blade is a skill. Imbue the cipher blade with light extending its length and then strike it with a sudden sweeping attack. Cannot be blocked. I'm surprised there's no bell bearing here. Hello. Seedbed curse. A grown a curse grown on a body defiled by the dung eater. Curse grown on a corpse killed and defiled by the dung eater, a tender pox afflicted with omen horns. The dung eater cultivates a seedbed cur curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the Erd tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in all the lands between. He's where the other guy was, so we should go and say, uh, we should go and see if there's any connection. All right, let's go and check things out over here. Um, we might have enough to go and upgrade things, maybe. Two more. Something new. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. 
box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. Wait, what? The sewer jail key? Can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Do we want to let that happen? Wait, what? Trapped in this fucking kitten. To make the curse our own? Um, let's go here first. Our Lord will no doubt. Hello, you. Hello there, you, sir. Uh, I had hoped you'd soon return. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Take it. It's yours by right. Gelmir's fury. Let us tread the path of the recusant together till we reach the miserable. You still a lot? That would be an incantation. Or a spell? A spell. Gelmer's Fury. Cover area with source of uh, surge of magma from the earth. When the sorceries develop from the magma of Mount Gelmir. Conjures a surge of magma from the earth covering the area. Charging extends the surge of magma. The sorcery is held to represent the fury of the volcano, but the arrogance of attempting to harness it is solely that of men and serpents. Okay, so we have the audience pathway here. <clears throat> and then we have a key to underground here. I'm going to guess that, like, we're way over leveled for that because we can go and find all that while we're in the capital we don't need to go and progress past the capital for that but we're gonna go and check the audience pathway with this one we can also be um <clears throat> no i guess with this one should be appropriate level because uh the third guy was uh was in the uh giant's place Serpent Hunter. A weapon that serves both great sword and spear. Thought to have been used to hunt an immortal great serpent in the distant past, it manifests a long blade of light when facing such a creature. When their master's heroic aspirations degenerate into mere greed, his men search for a weapon with which they might halt their lord. Perform a powerful forward lunge and follow up with an upward thrust via additional input. When fighting a great serpent, a long blade of light will appear, revealing the armament's true power.
seen. The fuck? Rykard, the Lord of Blasphemy. Are you a serpent? Oh, you are. Okay. This is a really cool boss arena. Why would it not let me heal there? I tried to go and hit a heal. Is this going to go and put me to phase two? No, it's not. Alright, so let's not waste Fire Monk here. We can go and handle phase one of just Snake by itself.
Okay. Where's my runes at? Where did I die? Oh, all the way over here. God damn it. Snake's three for three for grabbing me. How do I go and dodge this? Oh, it dashed forward, okay. Light attacks are the way to go here. Are you serious? How do you go and deal with that? Because that's just like constant damage coming in at you. Like in that, uh, with all those skulls coming down. Uh, I suppose that is the last of his, like, big attack. Like, once you go and survive through that, then, uh, then you're good. Um, because we did go and survive through it, like, the first time. Maybe what we need to do is we need to get, um... Maybe what we need to do is we need to get, um... 
use our our flask. Wait, what? <laughs> He has me backed against the wall again. Rykard's Great Rune and the Remembrance of the Blasphemous. Oh look, an item. Eye Surcoat. Um... Brown surcoat draped over chainmail. The insignia emblazoned on the front marks out the wearer, 
as the eyes and ears of Sir Gideon the All-Knowing. The Divine Rune of the Shardbearer Rikard. Okay, so we know where that is. And the Remembrance of the Blasphemous. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Raider. Rikard took the form of a giant serpent that he might devour Gro. He might devour, grow, and live eternally. I understand. The road of blasphemy is long and perilous. One cannot walk it unprepared to sin. We got a lot of runes for that. Um, okay, so we get to go in here. go back over and talk to whatever his name is back over at the round table. Let him know that we went and found Sir Rikard. And we'll also go and check with the finger reader, like what sort of remembrances we get out of it. Rikard's Great Rune. Restores HP upon defeating enemies. Rikard was among the children of Renala and Radagon, who became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's union with Queen Marika. But Rikard fed himself to the blasphemous serpent, Great Rune and all. Or Rikard. Fed him, uh, uh, Rikard went mad and fed himself to the serpent. What do we get here for that? Uh, we go and get Rikard's Blasphemous Blade and Rikard's Rancor. The terrible power of Rikard lorded blasphemy. Summon searing spirits that leave a trail of delayed explosions in their wake. These spirits manifest from the rancor of heroes who met a violent end. The Lord granted them an audience, whereupon they were welcomed by the maw of the great serpent, and within the serpent's bowels, they became the Lord's kin. And also the sacred sword of Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy. The remains of the countless heroes he has devoured writhe upon the surface of this blade. Now they share the same blood, bound together as family. Some HP is restored upon defeating an enemy. Taker's flames the skill. Raise a sacred sword aloft to set it ablaze with blasphemous flames, then bring it down to fire off a forward blast. Steals HP from those they touch. Hmm. Neat. Uh. <clears throat> 
There are four more Nicola of the Halic. His twin, Malay. Luna Princess Rani. And Rani is all here if you should learn. I'll trade you. We both as such. Okay, so he doesn't have anything to say about uh, Rikard. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go back to Volcano Manor. <clears throat> to see what they have to say. When you're at Volcano Manor, your family. There's an item over here. My thanks. Hmm. So, you killed Rikard. I harbor you no ill will. The strong take. Such is our code. Even he was prepared to meet a wretched end when he first took blasphemy unto his very flesh. But any road, the Volcano Manor is no more. Though we may yet fulfill an old promise. We hunted our own kind and took what was theirs. And with everything in hand, the time has come to rise against the Earth Tree. Oh. Oh, greater will. Hear my voice. I am the recusant Bernal, inheritor of my brother's will, and you will fall to my blade. We refuse to become your pawns. Consider this fair warning. Oh, great! I am the Reki Refu. Can I go in here yet? Door is blocked shut. You don't have the right. Yeah, I don't have the range. You. It's true then. You've defeated our lord. I have. No. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. That makes me the new lord. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our lord is immortal. And will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then, I must stay the path and do my part. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. I always was an admirer. This is perhaps we will meet again. Along the path. This is perhaps we. W this is fair perhaps. Okay. If I sit here and reset the area, are they gone? They are gone. Can I go in here? God damn it. Renault is gone too. Oh. He left his sword. The sword of Bernal. We can learn skills from this sword. What was the point of Bernal then? If we if we just needed his sword. Okay, so Volcano Manor is done. Um So let's see. We have a boss here at the Annex Tunnel that we can't beat. Um, I'm not too sure if we'll ever be able to beat that with my current build. Uh, we have a... Oh, we haven't gotten this dungeon yet. And then we have this puzzle I don't know how to go and do. Then aside from that, we just have the Halig Tree. Oh, and then also we have a key for the lower jail here in uh, uh, over in the capital. So I want to go and take a look at that. Then aside from that, then, I mean, we do have the, uh, um, place out over there. But we're going here first. I feel like we are progressing pretty good. We're going clearing things out. Um. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Let's sit down. Don't get too hasty here.
I forgot that we got that. Oh, this is going outside. I don't want to go outside. Um, I do want to change a thing here, though. Maybe change this one to Taker's cameo? Oh, these are great arrows. So, fuck. What have we up top up here? Rejuvenating bolluses. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh! There's a guardian doggo here. Let's see if we can just go and do this like this. Okay, that didn't quite work. This one hits pretty hard. 
I just wanted to go and chase it with the uh with the 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 the, the uh the, the snow thing with the frostbite. Right, good. Ah, oh. passage over here. We have one of those guys that have the the shield and spear. I want that, whatever that is. Imped Elder. Oh, fuck! I thought we'd been safe. We're just gonna go and die a bunch to here, because uh, I don't want to go and fight these watchdogs. Um... Resembling an elder holds trace amounts of arcane knowledge. Give me that. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. We weren't here. Grave Glovewort 8. <clears throat> I think we have enough now to go and upgrade our... Uh, no, he's at 9. We need the great one. Ah, oh, shit.
All right, so we got two of these assholes here. Right, there we go. Ghost nine. Oh, son of a bitch. That's okay. Everything's dead going that way, so it's not a problem. We're, we're not having to go and run through a lot of enemies. Why? I don't think I can go and attack it if I'm standing on top of it. Maybe we can. Oh, we can. Okay, good. What the fuck? Why? Why'd you just fall? We made it! Oh fuck, this is the wrong way. Do do do. Alright, alright, alright. Chop. Jump. This time we did a jump. Grave Glove Wart 9. That's not what we need. Alright, so we open the way to the boss. Um... I think we're fine. I think we can go. Uh, we can just go and attempt it. Future Grave Warden Duelist. Okay. I've already gone and fought one of these guys before. Well, I guess not a putrid version, but uh, man, I love the fire monk. So good. Great, uh, great grave glove wart. Nice, and a rotten gravekeeper cloak. Um, the great thing we needed. Thick grizzly cloak eaten through by scarlet rot, the symbol of an underground gravekeeper station. All right, there we go. Dungeon cleared.
So that means we can go and remove that. So we have a puzzle here. I don't know how to do that. So we have a boss here that I can't beat because it's not uh, we're the wrong kind of class for that. Um, and then we have the Halic tree. Oh, and we have underground here at the uh, in the jail. Other than that, I still want to go and figure out how the hell we get over here. And over here, uh, I guess over here is the Lord of Blood. We're not too sure. I'm not sure how I get there. But um, first of all, we're going to go back here so we can upgrade our uh, spirit thing. And I will be right back. Let me just go and refill this. One moment. Alright guys, I am back. Refilled the hot tea. And let's go and upgrade some ashes here. There we go. The monk is maxed out. Um I don't think there's anyone else maybe that we don't I I, I I like the monk a lot, the fire monk. I don't think there's anyone else here who I really want to go for, aside from like Latena or Dean. But I don't know where we can go and find Ghost Glove Wart 9. Uh, we'll go and throw a level here. Level 111, 45 Vigor, 30, 30, 30, Endurance Strength, strength Dex. Just a pure quality build. Okay, so let's go and figure out where to go for uh, this key. So the Albanaric Rise and the Yellow Annex Tunnel. Um, those are the only places I have in the overworld here, I think, that I feel like I'm missing things, as well uh, aside from the Halic Tree. So right here we can go down. And I think down is where we're where we want to go. If we're, we're trying to go and get to like an undercity jail, it seems uh, like it seems or it sounds like that's this the kind of place we would want to be.
light the way. Lost Ashes of War and Somber Smithing Stone 4. A dead end. Okay, so not this way. Let's continue this way. Some string, huh? Albanaric blood clot? Okay. Where'd you guys come from? I remember running through here. <laughs> yep, them, them fucking hands. The ones that you don't like, huh? <laughs> I'm trying to go and find a... find a thing. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Little hand spiders. I kind of want to see you go and stream this, just so I can go and watch what you're doing as well. Dude, like the, uh, I don't know where you saw them, so I don't really want to go and say too much. But like, I, I guess if you wanted to go and mention something, anything about them, then I can go and talk about things. But, Guilty Hood, what is this? Corpse, uh, a coarse hooded cloak of olive brown. Garb of those accused of lesser crimes indicated by the color of sharpened branches. All right. Hello there, good sir. Can you not? I feel like I have very little left to be exploring in the overworld, and, um, like... And then it's just, like, dungeons and stuff that I'm missing now. Like, I am way too strong for this area where I'm at, but, um... I feel like... Oh, we were just here. I feel like, uh, well, I know that I'm supposed to go and be doing something around here. Hello there. Hey, how's it going? Welcome here. One of KDR's mods. I'm one of KDR's mods. <laughs> Yo. Uh, which demigods have I killed? Um, as far as I know, all of them. Uh, but I mean, like, 
I don't even I don't know what I don't even know what's required cuz um they they mention stuff at the beginning of the game, right? But like I've never gone and seen or seen anyone talk about some of these people. But yeah, I kind of want to watch you go and play it so I can go and see where you're at, like what you're doing. Yeah, the opening cutscene. Like, um... Uh, the opening cutscene, as far as I can go and tell, like, some of those are, are, like, that just shows the bosses. Like they do in Dark Souls, but, like, they're not even like, some of them aren't even required. Some of them are just, like, part of lore things. Are they the Tarnished? I don't think they're the Tarnished at the round table. Maybe they are. Has to do with killing? Maybe. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> You think Gideon is the leader of the round table? Um, I'm pretty sure he is the leader of the round table. I think that's what his name is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what his name is. Um, the girl who holds you is uh, Fia. Circumference? Um, well, we're talking about the leader of the round table, not the creator of the round table. That's someone totally different. So. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, though. The Renala fight? Uh. The Renala fight. Did I do the Renala fight? Where was the Renala fight? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I like the Renala fight. I remember that one. Um, it really gave me some Bloodborne vibes, you know? Yeah, it really gave me some Bloodborne vibes with the, with the whole, with the whole moon thing. That was great. Uh, I really, really like that. Oh, it's this guy. Hi. Don't do your bullshit! Oh, fuck you! What? <laughs> no, stop it! The way some of these enemies in this game are, are like, they go and punish you for healing. Ah, the fuck! God, I hate those guys. Hero's rune, grade five. Golden rune, grade nine. An elevator. Where does this take me? Up, down, up. 
Uh, there is no going down. All right. Good luck with it. Are we back up at the top? We are. Well, that was... That was not where I wanted to go. Okay, so we fall down there, and then if we just go over here to... Okay, I see. And, uh, if we go this way... We can go and summon. Um... Oh, an avatar. I'm over here where I can go and maneuver a little bit better. Okay. Why does this one here go and have the AO or have like the the follow up attack on that? I thought that was uh, only for later ones. I guess this might be the first one. Oh wait, no, 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 no! There was the one over in um over in Caleb that also did that. Hey, Smithing Stone 6, nice. Omen Smirk Mask. Bears the smirking face of an elder, twisted and wicked delight. Mask with hideously twisted horns worn, worn by the omen killers increases strength. This vice is just carved in the image of the evil spirits that haunt the omen in their nightmares. I think that's better than this, right? Hold on. Oh no, the imp head's still better. I want an imp head that goes and increases strength. Oh look, there's a thing we can kick down over here. I wonder how we get up there. you stop that? Come over here. He's pretty good about going and protecting his, uh, protecting his backside there. Oh, there we go, finally. Got another partisan. Uh, 
it has that's that guy. Okay, we're over here with these undead. <clears throat> and we go in here. This goes up. I don't think we want to go up. We want to go over there. I guess if we go up, we go over there and then we go around. Um, oh, my runes are right up over there. So I guess we do want to go up. Where to from here? Okay, so this is going to go and put us back up over here where we can go and get my runes. We can go and fight the... Uh fight the um, avatar. I don't really want to go and use my summon here. We don't really need to against this guy. We should be able to go and handle this just fine. Avatar down. A Lord's Rune. A grace that dwells within the inhabitants of lands between. A runes of one who is destined to become a lord. But when the Elden Ring was shattered, all that remained was a distant duty. It's going to leave over, lead over to the manor. I suppose there's an item here. Let's go ahead and get these. Perfume. I guess we can just forget these guys. Lightning proof dried lip dried liver, okay.
All right. Gravel stone, all that for that. Let's go and fight our way through all this. Tarnished golden sunflower. Why more of those? Oh, fuck. It's one of these dog things, the lion things. We hate these. And we have a perfumer here as well. Somberstone 6, Old Fangs, and Beast Bloods. Great. Yeah, no horse I had for that. It's on that Coliseum side of things. Which we never went to, actually, come to think of it. We like these stone sword keys. A ladder? And we're on the upper level here. Okay. Oh, here's that ladder that I was uh, wondering how we get. Okay, so that leads over to here. I feel like we've gone, we've been pretty thorough about going and checking things out on this side.
Whoa, hello. He just went and tanked that. There's a lot of items to be found around here. I think zone six. Great. Oh, we've been through here. Oh, we've been through here multiple times. Uh, this is like the first building that we went into after we dropped down from the uh, from the upper levels. some doggos over there.
God damn it! Fucking hate those guys with those uh, with that uh. How does I think I would shoot three? It still does a ton of damage. I want one of those. Like that, uh... That little arbalest that they have is just way too good. Okay, so we went and explored all around over here. I guess the other thing is to go and explore on this side. And we got like I still need to go and find out where the hell I'm supposed to go and uh, use this key at. Like that's the whole point. The like the reason why I'm here. I mean, like uh, scouting out and learning everything else here is good, and I guess it's okay because we are getting like um, smithing stones that we need. Yeah, so I guess for the sake of the smithing stones, it's okay. Alright, so I know where we are. This is, um, from the first bonfire. It's this, uh, or the first grace we just dropped down to, to get here. So this is over here. Um, yeah, we went through here. This one and opened up the shortcut. So I feel like we've gone through everywhere over here. I mean, the only place I can uh, I can't uh, is over here. The only place I can't think of that we went to. Um, maybe it is over here. Let's go and take a check.
Yeah, because we went through there. Let's end up over here. Um... I guess we didn't go, like, through the front door over there. But there has to be, there has to be a spot somewhere, like, where, that we can go get through. The Ritual Shield Talisman. Raises defense when HP is at maximum. A talisman pattern after shields used in ritual combat helped to honor the Erd Tree. The practice had died out by the age of King Consort Radigan, but remains of the arenas where ritual combat took place can still be found in every land. Oh, is that what that is? So it's not a PvP arena like I thought. I mean, it still might be, but, like... That's not the intention of the place. Starfist. A spherical iron, iron manifer covered in spikes which induce blood loss. Used in brutal games of pugilism. Full health. Okay, so there's no way to go down from here. Where the hell is this, uh, underground jail over here? item over here. Maybe around to the side?
Come on, target. Gravel stone seal. And golden great shield. Ah, uh, he was going to shield counter. Okay, nothing around this side. <clears throat> I don't think there was anything outside. Somber Stone 6, and that's about it for over here. Because we already checked everything in there, and uh, that way going up. Because that led out over to the Divine Bridge. here. The rampart's up. It just gives me a quick teleport up here. There's an item over there. We could try dropping down over here. Hey, Smithing Stone 6. It was a good time to put my shield up there. Come on, get up here. I want to fight you and not the not those little trumpet guys.
Wow, what a place to fall into. You have a follow-up on that. Okay. Alright, gargoyles down. Little trumpet shits here. There we are, golden seed. Okay, I don't think we've gone up the middle of this here. How do we get up there? Up in this area here. I guess we can go from here. Yeah, but that puts me all the way up top up here. I don't think we can drop down that far. We just go out just this, uh, just the front door here. Oh, yeah, we didn't go in here. Regression alone reveals secrets. Incantation required ahead, therefore seek church. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right.
Maybe this is the way that I access over here. Oh, hello. Barrier of gold. Was oh, that it over here? We've been everywhere now, right? Well, I mean, obviously not, because I don't know where the, uh, where to use this key. Unless the key's not used here. The fuck? Why is there an item over there? Uh, how the hell do we get there? Um, we'd have to go from here. Hello there. It looks like that's too far. Hey there, guy. I don't know of any other way to get there. Let's just give it a shot. I mean, what do we have to lose? 150,000? Oh, okay. It wasn't that bad. A lot less, uh... A lot shorter of a fall than I thought. Bolt of Grand Sacks. A spear. An ancient lightning spear is the ability... A spear whittled from the weapon wielded by Gransax, one of the legendary armaments. A great ancient dragon, Gransax once rained calamity upon the royal capital. The only time in historical record that Leyendel's walls have fallen. This marked the dawn of the war against the ancient dragons. Ancient lightning spear. Imbue the armament with the ancient dragon's red lightning and throw it as a spear. Ow! Okay, so I don't know where I'm supposed to be going.
That's kind of the problem right now. I've never been here. I'm supposed to... Wait, let's go and level up. I'm supposed to be looking for a... Uh, for like a hidden entrance or something somewhere. Um, let's get... Vigor to 50. Some place I need to use this key that I did, uh, that I found. Smithing stone six. We have enough now to go and upgrade the katana. Does not open from this side. Of course it doesn't. Okay, if that doesn't open from this side. And we have to go and figure out how to go and get to where it opens from. I know where this is. There's a big enemy thing over there. Oh, hello. Oh, maybe we can go up there. Oh no, we have gone up there. Yeah, I've been here. Came up from down below over there, and then we came over here, and then I went up the wing. That brought me over to a building. There's an item down there, though. That looks promising. Oh, I've been here as well. I killed this thing. Yeah, that's easy to go and get to. Ash of War, Thunderbolt, Albinaric, and Blood Clot. Oh, so here's how we get here. Rune Arc, that's nice. Oh, okay.
Okay, we can't go that way. Well, we're finding closed doors, so. Subterranean shunning grounds. Okay. Never been here. Got a big guy over here. A Souls, like a Souls game where you don't get stuck in a three-second animation? Uh, it depends on the item that you're picking up. What the fuck was that? He bounced. Even considering my level, they go and hit pretty hard. Oh, Grace. I can backstab these guys? I wouldn't have thought I would be able to. Nice. How do we get ambushed by dumb place enemies? Oh, we get ambushed by dumb place enemies all the time in this. You know, actually, before we continue down there, let's go back so I can go and upgrade some gear. A lot of times it's not, um, we're not ambushed while picking up items anymore. Okay, so we need... Oh, more runes. Is this even Dark Souls anymore? I mean, if we can go and vertically jump like that, then it's probably not a Dark Souls, exactly. <laughs> uh, 640 to go and upgrade that. Uh, so we need two of these. Out, 
There we go. We don't have enough to upgrade anything else. And do I have anything to go and see you about? <clears throat> no. <coughs> Yeah, the the awkward like running, then you have to go and press a button like uh, like while you're running to yeah. Nope, we have a dedicated jump button, which is nice. So I think at last we found out where we're supposed to be going. Subterranean Shunning Grounds. Doesn't open from this side. Who'd have guessed? What do we have out this way? Blood-soaked manchettes and blood-soaked mask. Whoa, shit. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay, that's fine. They didn't go and hit the ladder. We got these hand spiders. completely pinned there. <laughs> A trapped item, yep. <laughs> Possibly worse than a mimic. A mimic you have time to go and respond to. If I was paying a little bit more attention, I could, probably could have seen that, that it was, uh, that it was trapped. Uh, I saw the hand spiders in the ceiling. So, I mean, there's, uh, there's a possibility that we'd have one in the, uh, like, on the floor as well. He's just hanging on the on, on these pipes. Why did I upgrade my ice katana? 
Uh, because I'm using both of them. I have, I'm using the katana, this dagger, and this axe. So all three weapons. It depends on the enemies. Um, if the enemy bleeds, then I would go and use the katana. Uh, or if I just, if they don't bleed, then I go with the axe. Those are gargoyles, uh, they don't go and bleed. Shadow bait. Or if I need to go and attack faster, because sometimes I need to... Sometimes, like, we need to be attacking faster than, uh, what I can with the axe. Okay, shortcut opened. Yeah, yeah, I, I forgot about that. I can backstab them. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder on that. Uh, hopefully we won't... Oh my god, it's starting to do a lagging thing. Hopefully we're not going to have to go and uh, deal with that, though. Excuse me. There you go. I could drop down to that pipe down there. I could drop down further. Um, I think that's what we have to do here. Game's doing this laggy thing. It doesn't happen too often, though. Oh, shit. We have a lobster here. Fuck. We have a couple lobsters. I don't like these things. I need smithing stones. Moog's shackle. That's a uh, usable item. Oh, look. Did this, did this just lead into a dungeon? Leyendale Catacombs. Yeah, surprise dungeon. Oh, 
Well, there's nothing here. Uh, well, there's the door to the boss. That looks pleasant. At least it's not like Dark Souls 3 where like those worms go and cause uh, like continual bleed buildup. Hi. Ghost Glove Wart 6. I need Ghost Glove Wart uh, 9, I think. You have the King's Ring. Very nice. Good job. I like Dark Souls. Well, I, 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 I like Dark Souls too. I wouldn't spend a lot of time with it. I mean, there's a lot that I don't like about Dark Souls 2. I mean, there's, uh, there's definitely things I do like about it. What the hell is this? Oh, it's one of these guys. The dragon thing that lets you go into sleeping giants, the uh the memory thing. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. What do we have here? Crucible scale talisman. All right, great. I want out of this room. Okay. He's too fat. He can't come in. Ugh. You know, I was doing a uh, let's play of Dark Souls 2 way back in the day. Um, And it was like a full 100% walkthrough, all areas, all items. Uh, I never finished uploading it. I uploaded a few parts to YouTube. Yeah, I uploaded a few parts to YouTube, but then uh, I never finished it because like my recorded content. Yeah, okay. 
So we just have these big guys. Yeah, so my recorded content was on a PC that went, uh, came from a PC that went and crashed, or that, like, died. So, I kind of just lost all my, uh, my recorded data. And, I mean, well, I, I guess I could have just gone and re-recorded it. Um, I just didn't. And then, uh, then content content patch came out for Dark Souls 2 that changed things in the game uh, to a different version that was no longer uh, applicable anymore. And I was just like, well, alright, fuck it. Wait, what the fuck? Why is this door open? Uh Gimme that Ghost Glove Wart eight. Golden Rune Grade eleven. Yeah, you guys can't go through that door either. Oh wait, no, we came from here. Oh, item. Root resin. So does this game still deal with weapon durability? No. Weapon durability was only a thing in Dark Souls 3. Um, while Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 did have a weapon durability thing, um, it wasn't really a thing that you had to worry about. Like, unless you were going and just continually going and, uh, without stopping anywhere, um, your weapons wouldn't break. Dark Souls 2 was the only one that, like, really did anything with durability. <clears throat> I kind of like the ability, or, or like the thing of having to go and do maintenance on your weapons and all. Um... Yeah, I kind of liked having to do that in Dark Souls 3. Or Dark Souls 2, I mean. Spin to win. Yeah, there's definitely times in those where uh, your things would break. Uh, and then there are some enemies that go and use items that are meant to go and break your gear as well. Um, there's a few of those in Dark Souls 3 as well. But it wasn't really that much of a, like, that common of a thing. Oh, 
Um, and then, like, in PvP, there was also, I mean, you could also go and make a, uh, a build that went and focus on weapon durability or item durability. Um, but those really weren't viable. They really weren't that good. Hello. Because, like, you could do a little bit of damage to, to, to someone, but, um, it just wasn't enough damage to go and kill them. And why go and mess up their weapon when you could just go and just kill them in, like, three hits instead? The only thing was, like, if you're uh, in PvP is if you were trying to go... You weren't trying to go and kill someone? Oh. Lamenting over his fallen buddy here. We'll just add to the body pile. All right, now we're back here. Uh, that was stunned from stacking damage. If you do enough damage, like, uh, consistently, like, um, you can go and break their poise. They don't have to be blocking for their poise to be broken. The same, uh, the same applies with the other, with other Dark Souls as well. Uh, all enemies have, like, uh, have a hidden poise value. And if you go and do enough damage to break that, you can go and just, uh, you can just stun him. Wait, there was a, there was a hidden hallway here? I just ran away from the guy here, so I didn't go and, uh, see this. In Dark Souls 2, um, you were able, like, in older builds, you were able to go and hit that, uh, break enemies' poise really easily with a strength build. If you're going and doing dual wield with, like, mace or great club or something, um, then you went power stance. You could go and do so much damage to them. Uh, a lot of bosses you were able to go and just stun them out. And then you can just go and just, uh kill them really quickly. So in power... So for power stance, if you're not familiar with it, um... If you're going and dual wielding weapons and your strength is one and a half times the uh, um, the strength requirement of the stronger weapon or whatever weapon needed a stronger strength requirement, if your strength was one and a half times it, you could go and hold down the button that would go and um, put you in a dual, put you in a two handed stance. If you held it down, you would go into a different stance, and it would go and change your attacks. That's probably my favorite thing about Dark Souls 2, is uh, power stance. It's a mechanic I wish it was in, in more Souls games.
Lord of Blood's Exaltation. Blood loss in vicinity increases attack power. Talisman depicting the exaltation of the Lord of Blood. Ooh, more Lord of Blood. Render up your offerings of blood to your Lord. Drench my consort's chamber. Slake his cocoon's thirst. His awakening shall herald the dawn of our dynasty. Well, okay. Dungeon cleared. Yeah, depending on your weapon, though, it's, um, sometimes it just wasn't really worth it. Uh, but if you were using a strength-based weapon, then, um, strength-based weapons were really good with it. Oh, god damn it. This one goes up. We need to go up with it. Like, if you tried to go in power stance, like, dex weapons, you could. But, um... Their effect is considerably less than what a strength weapon would be. More enemies up here. A new area. Okay, so I can't kill these guys permanently, so we just got to go run past through. Game's getting kind of laggy. Oh shit. Oh shit, we're back here. Okay, that was, uh, that's kind of neat. We went all the way down to the catacombs. Uh, and then we found our way back up. There's a grace there. Did we die? We did die somewhere. Okay, so that was going down that way. Maybe going down that way is not what we need to do. Oh, we died over with the hands. That's right. Ooh, we can go down the tunnel over there. Yeah, you can see the fingertips there are sticking out. That's where I got caught in that trap. Leave your jail. I've been here long enough. I will kill again. Just to be sure, they'll be cursed. Along with their children. And their children's children. For all time to come. I will kill again. 
Too stupid to help me, could. Whoa, what the hell is that? What happens if I kill this guy? Oh, he's fast. Get wrecked. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No heals for you. Get fucked. But heals for me. Ow. Sword of Milos in the Omen set. Whew. Uh, Sword of Omens is here. Sword of Milos. The sinister greatsword fashioned from a giant's backbone. The spines along each side of the blade have been tapered to a fine point and made out wounds like a lopsided saw blade. Milos was undersized for a giant and was viewed as sullied and terribly grotesque. The Shriek of Milos lets out a horrified cursed scream that reduces all damage negation and status resistances for nearby foes. Oh. Well, active strong attacks will change to a combo attack. Oh, that's cool. And then what else? Um, The Omen Helm. Malformed Helm resembling an omen with its horns cut off. Worn by the Dung Eater, its form is a vision of the landscape of his mind and of his appearance as he wished to see it. The heart of an omen without the body to match, could there could there be any crueler existence? What does it matter then if the curse claims it all? The heavy sun-shaped medallion represents both the guidance he once saw and the ring to which it will one day lead. The heart of an omen without a curse okay. All right, so there we go. We found where we, what we were looking for down here. Um, we can finally leave. Oh, he's no longer here. Possibly because I wouldn't kill him over over there. Um, she's probably not going to mention anything about it. I see. Yeah. Oh, we did go and get a uh, glove wart. Um, we want to go and upgrade Latena. And not Dean. I I like Latena a lot. 
Alright, so max out Latena. Um, and we just need one eight to max out Dean. So six more to go and upgrade this to 21. Uh, five more to upgrade this to 25, because we have the 25 one. Let's see what Fia has to say. What is an Elden Ring? It's like the one ring to rule them all. And in the darkness, bind them. This is goodbye, my dear. But I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will. Not the remains of one chosen for me. And I will bear a child who will inherit your warmth too. What greater blessing could there be but to be born a deathbed companion? This is good, but I, I choose and I will who will inherit. What great. Okay, so nothing new here. Ah. Uh... I still really want to go and find out what I can do, how to go and get over on this side. Um Cuz this is a dead end. Maybe we can go down this way? Cuz we cut through here. Went all the way down over here. Dragon skin soldier of Noxtella, the uh, thing here. Um, maybe we can go cut through the water down this way. Oh no, we did cut through there, and then it went and brought us over to the the thing that's just hanging, or the big floaty thingy here that we killed. Um, and there wasn't a way across. I think the way to access over here is going to be from the uh, cliff side. I'm not sure how we are going to go and access that either. I would like to go and find Blaze again. Maybe we can go and maybe if I go back over to Ronnie's we can go and find Blaze. Can't see us dark. Is there anything down? Nope. Okay, so this is that side path over to here. Okay.
Great three smithing stones. Not that important anymore because we can just buy those. Is there a path back here? No. It's really not worth it to go and fight all of them, but they're kind of just in my way. Or I guess they would be in my way. Well, I'm trying to go and do stuff. Okay, so we need to be up, I guess. Okay, so we need to go around to that side. All right. Okay, so now that Say so now that we're up here. Because there's an item. Because uh, I know we can get all the way up top. Because there's an item up there that we have. Uh, that we're able to get to. Which means that we, we have to come be coming down from here. We come down here from the top, uh, from this path over here, and it's a lot higher. We can go around over here because there's an item up top over there. And you can see that there's a path over there at the very top as well. Um, that's where I would like to get to.
Can't climb here. We can see a chest up there. There's items up over there, so that means that we have to go and climb. We need to go down from a higher spot. So here's that grace. Here's where we had all those ants. Oh yes, and then this way. This way led out to over here. I have no idea how to go, um, how we're getting over here. Just fly? We might have to. There's a big rock. Um, somewhere over here. It's like it's right underneath this, Rhea Lucaria. I'll just do that so it's pointing a direction so we can go and look kind of in this area. If that's a lift over there... There. Then it looks like it would be over here. Alright, looks like we might have to go and check out Rhea Lucaria. Maybe there's stuff over there I missed.
This was uh, just an item over here. And it had continued down and opened up into a boss arena out over here. Yeah, and then we have all that stuff way the hell up there. And well, that's what I'm trying to get to. Maybe there was a way here to get there and I just didn't see it when I came through first time. Oh, well, there's a grace down there. That's definitely too far of a fall for us. See, there's places I want to get to and explore, but I don't know how to get there. And then we just went and circled the, the boss arena here. Uh. I guess let's go and check out Rayo Lucaria. The debate parlor, I suppose. Like, this could be a lift right here that just goes down, and I would believe it. Um, and then I also want to go and check out, uh, Lady Ronnie's place. Got the cool way guy here again. Let's 
except my damage output's way higher than it was the uh, first time I was here. Another check through down over in these places, these parts. Looks like there's a chest here that I didn't open. Ritual pot, okay. Could have sworn I did open that. Look at all those masks right there. Here? Like, I could believe that there'd be stuff up top up there and then there's like a lever like right up front over there that could go and uh, unlock this. There's actually a broken window there, so we could go and actually climb down there. <clears throat> oh, there's a la- oh, I never went this way. Hi. I didn't see this. Time for jumping. I don't think we could jump over there. Oh, hi. Radagon Icon. Shortens your spell casting time. A legendary talisman depicting the Elden Lord Radagon. Shortens the casting time of sorceries and incantations. As the husband of Renala of Caria, the red haired Radagon studied sorcery, and as the husband of Queen Marika, he studied incantations. Thus did the hero aspire to be complete. Well, we can't go and jump up there. Hmm. Maybe if we talk to Renala? Art thou now assured of thy...
Ah, oh, we can go and do all this stuff here for free. Be not I would And then this thing. It's locked. I don't know how to unlock it. Um, okay, so I think we're going to stop here for tonight. Let's go over a few things that we, well, we did a lot of things today. Um, we cleared up all the, we, we went and finished things up over here. I finished the Volcano Manor, cleared Gilmer, cleared Shade Castle, cleared uh, the Erd Tree, cleared the Underground Roadside. I feel like we went and cleared out the castle over here. Uh, got the Divine Tower of West done. All of this stuff over here. Um, I found a boss here that I can't go and fight. I mean, I can fight him. I don't think I can beat him. And then found a puzzle I don't know how to go and do. Beat a boss in the volcano. Um, and then now, all I have left I can think of is the Halig Tree. I would like to go and find out how to go and get in the on the cliffs up here. We want to go and find out how to get down here. And also to how to get over here. And this area is kind of right underneath here, underneath uh Celia. I wonder if that's important. Hold on, hold on. There is a there was a thing we had about Celia. Um hidden cave. There is a hidden cave in the town of Celia. Look behind the graveyard at the precipice. There is a hidden cave in Celia? Hold on, what? <clears throat> like, I thought it was talking about this one, the catacombs, because there was a thing over here pointing over to the catacombs. But no, if it says that there's a cave in Celia, then that's something I want to find out. Alright, so here we are in Celia. Man, I remember when Celia was going and kicking the shit out of me.
Okay, so Salia's pretty clear now. Who shot me? It was you? Oh, there's a painting here, though. A red main painting. I think I know where that is. Alright, I feel like Celia is pretty clear. Just a few enemies on the rooftops and such. Glintstone staff, can I use that? Wow. We can use this is like the basic staff. We finally got one. Like all the staves that I have are like a uh, really high level. Okay. An item over here I missed. I doubt it's anything that uh, that's like really great. My Celia might be completely cleared. So we can go and just explore and find things uh, that need to be found. The Rolling and Tear Scarab. I think we already found one of those before. Alright, so Celia has a secret cave, it says. Um. Look behind the graveyard at the precipice. Hmm. 
What graveyard? What precipice? There is a hidden cave in the town of Celia. Look behind the graveyard at the precipice. Uh, that's not a hidden. That's not a cave over there. Well, it's a, it's a cave. It's not hidden. Um, and that's not a that's not a graveyard. Perhaps down here. Is this part of Celia? This might be part of Celia. That was Curse of Celia. Item up there. Pass. All right, so here we are, the swamp of Aeonia. Um, and then at that point, now we're leaving Celia. Okay, um, I think we are, that's about it for Celia. I mean, there's a graveyard up here. If we follow up here, there's a graveyard over here. Alright, I don't know. I'm just gonna go and stop here. And then we can continue looking tomorrow, I suppose. Um, I don't really know where I'm supposed to be looking here. Maybe we're supposed to be up at the graveyard, but the graveyard's not in the town. It says behind the graveyard, so, I mean, maybe? Let's just go up over there. We're not going to sit at the, um... Uh, yeah, the whole place kind of is a graveyard.
Like, because everything there is a ghost, so... So technically... Like, I'm looking for... I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, so here's the graveyard. Okay, so here we are. This is behind the graveyard. This is like at the precipice, right? Or maybe over there? Maybe it has to do with this. I mean, there's more graveyard over there. More graveyard over here. I don't really... Maybe behind the tower? Behind the church? I never really explored out over here before, I don't think. Okay, so this could be behind the graveyard. This could be the behind the graveyard at the precipice. Because this could be a precipice. Maybe here. It's 
very vague. Because the graveyard goes in uh, is fairly large. I mean, that could be over there where that tree is. That could be uh, um, the precipice behind the graveyard. The thing is, I'm trying to go and find this because where we're at here is right over where I want to be down here underground. There's a cave here. What is that? Oh, that's the crystal tunnel. Yeah, we already know about that. Uh, I already cleared that place. Okay, so Celia is fully cleared. Graveyard is fully cleared. I don't know. I'm just kind of getting tired at this point. We've been at it for about seven hours. Uh, for actually seven hours on, uh, yeah. Uh, we did a lot of stuff. And... Over here. Shortcut ahead. Why are there messages on top of that building? How does how how how's Is this the place? Because that's too far to jump. Oh, and it's not too far to jump. You could totally jump that. Okay. But if I jump, then what? <clears throat> like, where would that go and take me? Then we get internet points. Okay, I guess that's true. Internet points are good. Let me just make a quick check over here. I guess. We did it. Sadness. I did it. Now what? Now we did it. <laughs> Maybe right below here? Made it here. I can't open these do this door here, can I? No. 
It's not a cave going into this building. Alright, whatever. Alright. We'll go and, uh... I don't... I don't know. Just kind of getting tired, so... Um, maybe we can go and think about it a little bit more clearly tomorrow. Alright, I am out. You guys have a good one. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow as we go and play some more. Um, I want to go and find out how to get down here. I want to find out how to get down over here. I want to find out how to get down over here. I want to find out how to get over here. Uh, other than that, I feel like we've gone and been very good about clearing everything else out in the game here. Um, I don't think that there is anything left that we have left to do. Um, no clue on all of those. <laughs> no problem. There is a... Uh, there is a place... I remember there was a place where I went in. Wait, what is this? I don't think I've ever been here. We'll mark that. There was a place I remember that had uh, a trio of bosses um, that I didn't beat. I don't remember where it was. It was in a cave. At the back of the cave. Um, was it the Altus Tunnel? I think we cleared the Altus Tunnel. Sage's Cave? No, a Sage's Cave we beat. That had the, the first assassin that we saw. Um, Black Knife Catacombs had the Black Knife. Uh, Black Knife guy. Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel? No. Um, maybe, was it out over here? We cleared those catacombs. Foot of the Forge, the Fire Giant, the Forge, Giant's Grave Post. Oh, it was Spirit Caller Cave. We didn't go and finish to this place. It was also this place. We'll go and check that out tomorrow. Pretty sure we did and we checked that. Um, yeah. So we have a couple places to go and uh, check out. We got this place here. We have a boss over here. It's kind of a difficult boss. Um, we have to go and find this cave here in Celia. And then other than that, then I guess we're going to go for... Uh, spend some time over at the Halig Tree. So, that's uh, the plan for tomorrow. If we finish all that, then we're going to be over at the uh, over here at the uh, Ferrum Azula. And I think that that's uh, endgame. So... I think that's it. Alright. Catch you guys late. Thanks for hanging out tonight. We'll see you guys next time. 63 and a half hours so far. As we're trying to go and finish up the last little bit. Alright guys. Shimasaki out.